So, um, just a quick little thing. The audio is still scuffed. I don't have time to go through the filters and reset that. So bear with me for this video as well. And uh, before arriving to this video, I hope you've taken all the basic approaches to fixing your camera, such as like making sure there is no physical slider or switch that like blocks your camera. There is like no function key you're pressing that disables the camera. There is no side buttons you have to press that disables the camera. So those are like the obvious things. Let's get that out of the way. The second thing is I hope that you have tried doing window updates. I hope that you have tried like going into the BIOS and make sure the camera is not disabled. So those are two other solutions. So today's topic is basically how to fix the camera on your 5690 workstation. Unfortunately, I don't have like a physical 5690 workstation with me. You have to just kind of go by my words. And uh, just a reminder, go down to the description below and take a look at like the detailed process, just in case that I verbally cannot communicate clear enough. I want you to go to your device manager and look for uh, devices that have warning signs on it. There's a yellow triangle on certain drivers and look for possible problems. And you want to double click that so you can read what's wrong with it. And sometimes I might tell you like, hey, this device is uh, not getting enough power. And then in your head, you might be thinking like, oh, this device is missing power. Maybe that's why the camera is not working. So that's that. Once we identify which uh, driver has the issue, we're getting ready to like, you know, replace the driver. To be extra cautious, I want you to go to your view and then click on show hidden devices just in case. Um, I don't think this is uh, the reason why your camera is not working, but just in case. Turn that on and you'll see like devices that's hidden from view. Okay, so we're going to summarize again for the people who skip to this chapter marker. We are basically going down to system devices. We're looking for two specific pieces of um, device that's not working. And I'm going to have a screenshot hopefully on the screen right now. You want to uninstall these two. And uh, let's pretend it's, um, oh my God, I don't think I can uninstall any of these because these are all for remote. So pretend for a minute, th this is the two things, right? You uninstall it, forget it, disable the camera, pretend that's the camera, you press disable. And now um, hopefully you have a functioning device with the good drivers. Now this is a situation you will encounter if you're using like uh, imaging services and you're deploying multiple devices and you have like a golden goose situation where one device has a functioning camera and you're working on the one that doesn't. I want you to go to the working laptop one and drag the drivers out and this is how you're going to do it instead of going to the manufacturer website. You go to your PC, you go to the disk where your Windows files is located at and then you scroll down or you could just press the key or systems 32. I think it's right here. Yep. After that, we we'll want to press uh, D, which brings us to driver store. You could also look on here for the file path. If you're getting lost, go to file repository. And this is all of your drivers right here. You do not need to go to the manufacturing website and try to figure out, oh, I can't install this. I can't install that. Forget about that. Just drag these out. Now you might be thinking like, how do I know which one I even need to like drag out? Now, this is where the next step comes in. You go to your view by driver devices, go to the two problematic ones, hit the expansion thing, double click on the drivers. You want to hit driver detail. That one doesn't have a driver detail. That's annoying. All right. This is where I do a jump cut. OK, so that's a jump cut because we cannot find a uh, device with drivers. You're going to see the description here like uh, blah, 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 dot sys, whatever. And then you're going to go here and try to match it. I S A P N P. So that right there is going to be our driver. And we're going to drag it onto like a removable USB from your golden goose, AKA the functioning device. Once we copy that onto your removable USB, just eject the thing. And then like you move it to the problematic one and pretend for a second, this is our problematic computer. Since we already removed the two troubling or outdated drivers from our last step, our next step going forward is going to be um, installing the correct version. Now you're going to like click browse here. You want to go find your USB uh, wherever it might be. 
and then once you click on the folder, that's it. It's going to automatically detect the uh, .inf file inside the folder. You don't have to worry about it. Click next. It's going to tell you, oh, successfully installed, blah, blah, blah. And then um, after that, right, we want to like click action, click scan for hardware changes. So we could like make sure the new driver gets updated into the system. So go to your camera that you've already disabled, re-enable it, right? Now that's back on. And you want to type in camera just to make sure that it actually works now. That really should be it. I'm going to work on trying to get the two uh, problematic drivers for the 5690 series particularly. And hopefully you guys can reproduce these steps for other series. Hopefully this is kind of helpful. I know it's terribly confusing. Uh, there will be a link to a forum that goes through like other potential solutions. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, that forum is a lifesaver. To give credit where credit is due, shout out to this person that's on the screen right now for confirming my suspicion that those two driver were the issue. Because without this person mentioning it, I would have just been like, huh, that's weird and moved on about my day. But the fact that this person had the same like problematic driver as I did, I don't think it's a mere coincidence. So thank this person for bringing it to my attention and uh, hopefully you guys have, don't have to encounter this issue. Have a wonderful day, y'all. Or evening.